Hey everyone, it's me, Lana. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Today, I decided we're not going to take on Brock quite yet. We are going to start by going through Viridian Forest. That's going to take a good long while. Uh, here we get a little uh, recap of what we did before. Back here in Vernon City, Leaf del uh, uh, delivered the package, the parcel. Mm hmm. A little recap there. Since this was a handheld game and you meant to play it in little bite sized chunks, that was the idea. Anyways, uh, a little bit about this game. This game was a pretty decently faithful remake of. Uh, generation one, uh, red, blue, and yellow and green. Um, but they they updated it with like the modern coding of Pokemon because ever since Gen three, Pokemon's code has gotten a major overhaul, bug fixes and such, and a lot of enhancements in the minor details, as well as the same quality of life improvements make this like I think the best way to experience Gen 1, as well as, in my personal opinion, the best of any Pokemon game to start with for a new cover. Uh, but yeah, we're here in Brainian City. To start, uh, we are going to head up head up the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Center, get a lot of Pokemon. But yeah, this game was, the original game was created by Satoshi Tajiri. No, no, many people simply Satoshi. Uh, Junoichi Masuda. And I forgot the other guy's name. One of the guys that helped create the original Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, it was massive success. The remake was even bigger of a success than it was in the original. It was just kind of a big deal. Uh, but uh, yeah. Mm. We're just gonna buy some Pokeballs because we're gonna need those. In Japan, they're called Monster Balls. As Pokemon, as you don't know, if you don't know, it's short for Pocket Monster. Anyways. Well, now, I've had my coffee. That's why I need to get going. Hmm, what is it about that red box you have there? Let me see. You give a word of advice. You never catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't have to catch a Pokemon. So, I have to teach you then. Okay, so, first of all, we're gonna meet this old man who's gonna teach us how to catch a Pokemon, which I have already done a few times. But it's good for a little refresher in case you really need it. It's, it. it's not the best strategy that he does anyway, he's just doesn't even weaken it. He's kind of just there. But he's gonna give us a little, uh, little item at the end of this segment. He's gonna catch the wheel, and in reality this almost never works this way. But uh, yeah, we are going to uh, catch the uh, Weedle. Can you call it, turn that down please? But uh, yeah. We're gonna catch the Weedle. He's gonna give us a Teachy TV, which will which will uh, basically let us learn things, uh, basically like refresh our memory and how things work. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna head on up here. Got some uh, random encounters out. There we go. And uh, I'll just talk to you. Yeah, it's gonna be small, but don't and beware as we can bite. Have you got one already? You're going to Verdian Forest? Natural maze in there. You're going to get lost, or poison for that matter. We, we can't get poison in here. Anyways, we're here in Verdian Forest. We're going to start uh, by. Oops. Uh, we're going to start by heading over here. I came here with some friends to catch some Pokemon. They're all itching to get some Pokemon bells. Yeah, itching. As in they're poisoned. Anyways, we're gonna take a potion. Free item, all these nice have. Uh, some Pokeball goes to cut Pokeball one. Okay. Got some battles out. We're gonna fight this guy now. Hey, you have both one. Come on, let's battle him. I'm gonna fast forward this fight a bit to uh, two times speed. Start with a scratch. Yeah, so 
Viridian Forest is going to be our first location with trainer encounters. That'll be a, the best source of experience in the series, is always trainer encounters. Always fight all the trainers in an area. No matter what, it just gives you some good experience you just can't get with Wild Pro 1. Anyways, we're just gonna deal with him. Here we go. But yeah, since we've, we've uh, been... Well, since I've been editing things out, just so you know, we got a Mankey. I did eventually swap this one out for a better Mankey with a better EV. No, a better... A better nature, a better nature for a mankey. Uh, but just know that I have a mankey now. And that's basically all you need to know. Uh, I have a mankey, which is a very good fighting type Pokemon. We're gonna do fighting types in the first gym, which is gonna be something weak to fighting types. You'll see if, and if you know Pokemon in Gen 1, even if you know the anime, you know what I'm talking about. It's Brock, the rock type Pokemon Gen later. We are going to take him on with Mankey and just demolish him. Because Charmander can't deal with Brock very well. Mankey can. Monkey can see, Monkey can do. We're gonna find another bug catcher, go Oko. Yeah, Oko is our replacement for the last Mankey we saw. Because the last Mankey we saw did not have a very good nature for a Mankey. So we got a better Mankey than it's Oko. A uh, shortened version of the uh, Japanese name for it in its old form. We've got a string shot, we're just going to keep scratching. There we go. We're really going to get it all up. Now uh, we're going to switch to Mankey again. Go Oko, he sends out Weedle. We're going to. We're going to uh, Leer. Switch to Lizardon, and uh, it should do it. Anyways, a little bit about this game's development. It was originally inspired by Satoshi's experiences as a child, catching and collecting bugs. Hence, why the first area with, like, legitimate challenge is a bug area. It's a buggy forest, just like you grew up in forests in Japan, catching bugs was the idea. Kakuna. Kakuna is a metapod that like free experience. They take a lot of hits, but they don't deal any damage and they can just give you free experience through a level of level one. Very useful. I have a uh, few battles with them. Because they don't attack, they just kinda harden themselves, get stronger, uh, without actually doing anything else. Yeah, Kakuna is a metapod. They're good uh they're good experience fodder. Anyway, it's almost there. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this battle. And then low, low kick, that's not gonna be very useful in this area because Bug is resistant to uh, fighting. But low kick is going to be very useful in the coming gym. I forgot to cut that battle out. Oh well. Eh, I got away. Anyway, let's just head on over here. Yeah, I sped this part up a bit too. We're gonna fight another uh, bug catcher. Since that canopy, go Manti. Get a low kick. Okay, almost there. Switch to uh, uh, Lizardon, who knows Ember now. And we are going to demolish it. Demolish the bug. Okay. Try to level up. Lizardon level up. Okay. I'm gonna switch to Mankey again. Oh go. So then one of those. Scratch. Yeah. So you get the idea of how this game is gonna go. It's an RPG. A one versus one um, monster collector RPG. Sort of like the genre of fighting monster collector RPG. Well, not not really. Um if you know TV trope trope maker Trump Codifier, an Ur example. The Ur example, like the very first example of a monster collecting JRPG, would be Megami Tensei. Uh, the uh, the uh, Trope Maker, the one that defined a lot of the 
uh, conventions of the trope would be Dragon Quest V, five specifically. And the trope codifier is book one, which came a few years after Dragon Quest V, and a decade after Megami Tensei. We're gonna deal with you. Speed things up. Thinking which, we're gonna get to both those series eventually. Uh, according to polls, I'll either go with in a, a numerical order or in order of representation ultimate. And if I do a representation ultimate, I might do Persona a bit sooner than I expected. A bit. Not much, but a bit. We're gonna scratch, there we go, we'll say our pardon, is okay. Okay. There we go. You can turn that down. Anyways. We're gonna low kick, and there he goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that a category? There, he's got a string shot. You're going to... Oh! I actually summoned Siri by saying string shot. But, uh, yeah. You're going to, uh, super effective it, and there we go. There we go. Metapod. We are going to Ember it, because Met... Ember! Fire type moves in this game are special. Uh, which means that Harden does not do anything to mitigate fire attack moves. This is before uh, uh, different moves had different uh, specific or special uh, attributes, depending on which one they are. In this era of Pokemon, uh, if a move is a certain type, then it is uh, either a physical or a special. Uh, that is the uh, main difference in Gen 3 and Gen 1 and 2, or 4 onwards. Uh, one of the main differences in terms of like how things work. Gen 3 was a bit growing pain, for sure. But it is a good game. Serious. A good, a good generation. Anyways, we're gonna scratch him. Here we go. Poison Sting. Scratch. Almost there. Poison Sting. There we go. Low kick. There we go. Yeah, is this gonna do it for today's video? Pretty much. We're just gonna head on into the Pokemon Center, and that should do it. Yep, skinny trees that can be cut down. Uh, many Pokemon can live only live in forests. And do you know the evolution can fully? Yep, that's if you press B when you evolve Pokemon, that means you can keep it as it is to keep learning moves that it can't learn when it evolves, but when it evolves it gets stronger stats. So you either want moves or stats, depending on when you are in the game. Anyways, we're just gonna head on into uh, the center, and that should do it. I'll see you next time. Do fight rock.